most flawless rhino and the best friend I've got who's always making sure that he knows that he's shorter than me and I'm fatter than him. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave McGrow. Thank you, John. And, and older. And older than me. Thank you, John. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. We really want to uh, thank everybody who's been coming out all week and been involved in all the food tastings. It's really been a blast. Uh, I would like to ask uh, Dana to come on up, if Dana is around. Dana. Dana! So, Dana! Somebody get the bottle of wine out of her hand. Dana! And Chris Opuzio, where is Chris? Runner Chris. Chris, come on up. So, I think I need Patrick McBride nearby too, because I gotta make sure I don't forget anybody. I never write anything down. We'll make this quick, but we do want to thank you guys. Patrick, can you come on over? Uh, I do want to thank everybody for the donations tonight. The donations will go to the O'Donoghue Fieldhouse and the, uh, the sports club there. So, uh, the money's gonna stay right here in Concord, and it's gonna uh, go right to the local community. So, uh, all your money tonight will go directly there. So, thank you very much for the donations. Um, harvest started about, ah, uh, here we go. This is actually, it's actually a Kildare's kids menu. And, I, and Patrick and I were sitting out front. Patrick's my uh, project manager right there raising his hand. Patrick and I were sitting out front of Kildare's one day having lunch and I said, hey, I just looked at the space where the Gap is in Glen Eagle and they want me to put a restaurant in. What do you think if I do something like this? And I drew out it basically what you are currently sitting in. And it's pretty funny because I didn't really look at it much after that. And then I was in Patrick's office the other day and it was taped up on his wall. It's been up there for about 14 months. And then we had it in the manager's office and they thought it was trash. So they threw it out today and it was covered in fish guts, but we did get it back from the trash. So if you want to see where Harvest started, we'll leave it up here. It's actually very interesting. Our architect, yeah, our architect David Kleckner is actually right there. David Kleckner, I'd like to thank you. Uh, and David, why don't you come up first? We're going to give you a little thank you here. We like to give everybody something who works on the project, um, something unique that they can remember from each project. When we open a Kildare's Problem College campus, they get a fraternity paddle with the college logo. We did not feel that was appropriate for Harvest, so. For Harvest, everybody gets a Harvest plate with a logo. So, David Kleckner, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So, And I do want to introduce my partners. This is my partner, Dana Farrell. That's right. Everybody in this township knows Dana. And if they don't know Dana, they know Dana and Chris. Chris Salpuzio, my other partners. I want to make the story quick, and I'll leave out the graphic details. But we were all over in Barcelona to see you two. Chris, Dana, and I had never officially met. They were on my Rhino emails, but we had never actually met. So we, we had a connection, and they knew sort of about my philosophy and things. And we were in Barcelona, we were having a great time, we are going to U2 shows, and Dana was actually looking to open a restaurant somewhere around here. And I said, sure, I'll help you look for a restaurant spot, I'm looking all over too. But I said, I've got this great location at the Gap, why don't you go into business with me? And Dana was still looking for her own restaurant, but then eventually Dana said, you know what, that's a great idea. So I do want to thank Dana very much for coming on board and making this possible. She is why the place looks as beautiful as it does. She's done a tremendous job, she's a sweetheart. Her kids are wonderful. Reed's going to be running the place in about five years, I believe. And then Chris was wise enough and kind enough and smart enough to believe in us and help us finance this wonderful thing along with us. So Chris came on as our partner, and we really appreciate Chris's involvement. Uh, and it's been great. So that being said, you two also get a plate. Yes. Okay, so we will keep your plates here. In addition to your plates... I forgot all you guys. I'm going to have Dana say everything about you guys. <laughs> you also get, from my good friend at Joseph Anthony's, hooked me up today, $250 to use at Joseph Anthony's, which I'm sure you guys will. So, Chris, I would like to introduce quickly Frank Casper is our COO over there. He runs the Dave McGrogan Group, runs a restaurant, so he is in charge of all the operations. So, I will be reports up to Frank. 
I would like to introduce the general manager, David Steyer. David, come on up, please, sir. And David, you have a present for uh, David? Okay. Okay. So David Steiger, if you need anything here that you can't get a hold of Dana for, David Steiger will take great care of you. I'd also like to introduce Chef Brian Duffy. Is he on the line still? Yeah, Brian. He's got a training session here. Chef Brian Duffy. You want to say hi to Brian Duffy? Chef Brian Duffy. Brian Duffy has been with us now for several years. He was the executive chef for all of Kildare's. Come on up, Brian. And when we came up with this concept, Brian is an absolutely fabulous chef, and I really wanted to give him an opportunity to really show his creativity. And this menu really gives him an opportunity to show his creativity with every season. So we asked Brian to come over here and head up Harvest. So he is the executive chef of Harvest. And he is creating the menus, creating this brand, creating this brand with me and Dana, and helping this thing grow. So, Brian Duffy, thank you very much, sir. And Brian, we have a, we have a plate for you as well, my friend, for your house. Okay? Uh, that's what the plates are for. Uh, I also need to thank Aaron. Where's Aaron ready? Aaron is here somewhere. Okay. Aaron is one of our managers here. And Aaron, we also have a Joseph Anthony gift card for you. Poor Aaron has done a lot. And you get a harvest mug. Isn't that pretty? Take your coffee. Duffy, I was going to give you a harvest mug, but you drink three gallons of coffee in a big giant mug. A mug for you, too. I also need to thank, please, Stephanie Gray. She's one of our corporate support people. Stephanie, 